do 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mondo Market TV, the Your Sparkle of Creativity show with Shahar Boyayan. I am your host, National Boyayan, and hey, 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 remember, before we even get started, because this is going to be a cool episode, but before we dive in, remember that this is interactive. Yes, you heard me, interactive. You get to ask your questions. This is a live podcast where you get to be a part of it. So, if you have any questions, any comments, anything like that during the broadcast, send them in. You can, you, there are three places basically that we monitor. One, the best viewing experience is on mondomarkettv.com. On there, there is a chat box below the video. You can send your questions and comments through there and I will relay them over uh, during the broadcast. If you're watching on Facebook, just participate there or you can watch on YouTube. I am monitoring all of those three networks and don't forget to share. Yes, yes, yes. yes if you're yes, on yes. Facebook, YouTube, bondomarkettv.com, share, let people know that we're live right now. This is your moment, this moment, this is your, your little time for yourself. So give a friend the time for themselves just to like check out from the day for just a, a few minutes and really enjoy themselves and watch something fun and really have a good time amongst friends. So do share. In fact, to make it extra sweet, we've got a drawing going on. Yes, yes, yes. You heard me. A drawing for these cute, adorable. Look at these adorable. Are they going to get one of these? Yes, this. Look at this. this you get this adorable little mini teddy bear. Ooh. I mean, this is itty bitty. It's about an inch. Yes. Um, and you get to take one home. And the, the way to do that is like, share, and comment on the like, share, and comment where you're watching. And we'll do a drawing at the end of the broadcast, okay? In fact, while Shahar talks, I am going to do just that and share this uh, show on different networks, Facebook and so forth. And listen, you know it, mini teddy, teddy bears are cute, but mini teddy bears are even cuter. And we're gonna show you how to make some with pipe cleaners. Yes, yes. Super cool. Super cool. So I'm gonna so, go ahead and share. First of all, I would like to uh, want to show you my army of teddy bears. Woo! And those teddy bears I actually made in the last three hours. Wow! Yeah, I have to tell you a story. So I was yesterday, last night, I made a bunch. I think I made over 20 of them in different colors and everything. And I thought they were so cool. Uh, you guys are going to love it. And I brought it here and I put all everything together. And the glue, the glue opened. Oh. Yes. And it made a mess. And they all had to go to the trash. It was a, it was a genocide. It was a, gen it was a horrible. parasite. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I had to, to make some more. But the cool part of this is that I think you're going to see pipe cleaners in a whole different way. And why is that? Well, because of course you have seen pipe cleaners before and you maybe you made with your kids some cute tiny animals and they're all cool and fun to make and, and cutesy. But what about having something that is one step up? Uh, something that is really cute. It doesn't look like at first pipe cleaners if somebody didn't know about it and take a look at this guy I mean here. look how adorable they are yeah. you're you're seeing Hi. you're seeing really really close because of the camera right yeah but when you when you look at naked eyes if you don't know this is pipe cleaner oh, but uh, hey they're cute they're adorable they're super adorable and and then by the end we are going to talk about a little bit what else can you do here because you know what with this type of teddy bear 
you could sell them as miniatures. And we'll talk also about that and price point later. So what do you need to get started? Pipe cleaners. Do you have any pipe cleaners around the house? Go get it. Go get it. Basically, that's all you need. You will need a little bit of glue uh, for the eyes. So what I'm using for the eyes are beads, and they, they, I bought in, in craft stores, and they are number six. They could be smaller as well. So if you have beads at home, I, I chose black for mine, get them because you can use. You, you're basically going to need only two, uh, three of them. Two for the eyes and one for the nose. And remember that you can change the color of the nose. So you could have black eyes with a brown nose, vice versa, and things like that as well, which brings more to the bear. Okay, so that's basically it. So here's what we are going to do. I'm going to make one for you to see all the process. And of course, because this show stays on, you can revisit as many times as you want uh, to see it again and again and again in case you, you forget something of the process. And once it's done, we are going to talk about variations and how you can increase the perception of value of those, of those teddy bears. Because like I told you, they, they, it's something that you can sell uh, for sure you can also give that's always so cute and uh, like i told you those uh, i'm going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so i made 13 of them maybe in an hour, an hour that's and a half. pretty incredible of course of course i was running right because i want to get things done uh you can spend more time and have it either better with that okay so and again interactive uh show which means that have questions, have comments, have you made something, do you want to show something that you made, post the picture on the comments, we want to see, and Nashla will uh, let me know about the, the questions and so on. Uh, the other thing is, you're, we are going to draw this little guy here uh, for a person that comes. That's right, you heard her. A lucky person is going to get this adorable Little bear, look at that. How cute that is. You can get, you can win this. The way to win is by like, sharing, and comment wherever you're watching, and uh, you can get yours. So let's get started. Let's do it. Okay. Kay. So you need pipe cleaners. Okay. If you don't have pipe cleaners, we have pipe cleaners, right? Okay. Huh? We have pipe cleaners. Yes, yes we do. Kay. We have plenty of pipe cleaners. Yes. And as usual, you can get them at a special price today. Ah, that's right, you yeah. can. Actually, so you want to go right into it? Uh, Usually you know, we do a demo first and then we say that. I know, I know. But I told you that uh, today we only have one demo. And I want to let you know of our promo because it's very cool. It is very cool. So you can get all the pipe cleaners in the world that you want pretty much at mondomarkettv.com. We have a variety of colors. Uh, we have uh, six or seven different colors. And you can see them here. They're fun, totally fun. Uh, look at that. You can make these adorable little bears and you can get it in yellow and light blue and dark blue and pink and brown and red well all of that on a super special price of 250 normally you'd get it for almost four bucks today you can get it for 250 comes with a hundred I believe yes of, each, of color. each color so just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your supply of pipe cleaners so that you can create these adorable adorable mini teddy bears and these are very high quality chenille uh, pipe cleaners. We got a small batch of them, so once they're gone, yes. they're gone. So you should not. I mean, don't it's less, wait. It's less than a soda. Don't. Yes. Right. Don't. Don't even think about okay. it. Just go there and get it. So here we are going to get started. I'm going to try to make with the pink one because I think it's going to show better on camera. All right. I love the blue one. I love the dark blue I too. I really love, but I think you guys are going to have a hard time watching. The, the ins and outs. Like I said, don't get overwhelmed. I think the whole process, there are two moments only that I think, oh, yeah, you know, I, I need to pay more attention because it's easy. So get your pipe cleaner and find the center. I usually put my finger on the center. Okay, and then let me see here. Maybe you want to watch from here all the time. Okay, so then I just decrease. This is going to be my head. Okay, but I want a small one to get started. And so you see this one is going on top. This one is going below. Now, the first thing I need to do is the arm, okay? Usually my arms have about an inch, so I, I can put my thumb and more or less know where to bend. 
I don't measure. And here I have, I have one of the arms. I come with the, the pipe and give it a hard band to stay below. So this is what I have so far. And maybe we'll make two just to make sure everybody gets the process. What do you think about that? Sounds good. Okay, so now if I have one arm, I need to have another usually, okay? So this is, for example, my weak spot many times. Uh, I don't get it the size right. And what happens? Well, not only then I end up with two different uh, size of arms, I want this one to end up being almost the same length or even the same length as the first one here, okay? So it's important to have the same size. I bend just so more or less I know the size. You could measure and maybe it would be easier, but again, that's really not my thing. Okay, so once you do, you do the same thing actually that you did with the first. You go up and give a hard bend. And see, it just ended up being very different, okay? So I need to adjust. This, to me, happens quite often. Some, 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 something I do that I'm not aware of, but you adjust a little bit. And most of the time, so there's a, a difference here. We can leave with that, no big deal. Uh, what you do want is most of the time you want to be working uh, tight. Okay, I just messed up, let's start again. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I, I just messed up and I don't wanna fix that. So I find the middle, it's a good review anyway. And you cross with them and leave just a little bit for the head. This head will grow a lot later. We don't need to worry about having it big right now. And then more or less my thumb, okay? More uh, here, it went to more or less my thumb here. And then you go and give a sharp turn on this side. And then you mimic the other, so try as much as possible to have the same size. Okay, let me see, mine is bigger. Like I told you, every time I struggle with this part, it's so simple. And that's here and right at the end. Okay, oh, Shahar, come on. And then you do the same thing. Shahar, don't be nervous, we're here with I'm friends. I'm nervous, We're I'm here alive. amongst friends. No need to be nervous. Okay. So I got it. Okay, now take a look. They are pretty much the same length. Sometimes, like I told you, because I always struggle with one arm, uh, there is a small difference. It's really not going to make a huge difference for us at the end, okay? But the more perfect they are, the more value they have. Well, now I'm, I'm going to bend to make the leg. And I leave a little bit before what would be the, the crotch or the waist here, okay? Do the same thing, try here to have the same size of the leg. Did you just say crotch? Yeah, Karen Baker says that all the time, nobody <laughs> complains. <laughs> hey, Shahar, uh. Marie said, hello, Marie hello. Lewis, hello, hello. And Bree said, thank you, Shahar, I missed the beginning, so glad you started over. Oh yeah, and I think we'll, we'll do a second We'll time. do another so, one together. So here I have the basic armature for my, my bear, right? I like to bend the feet right away. Uh, I can adjust those later, but I, I want to be sure I don't mess. I told you guys before, I'm very ADD, so I need to know where the front is. So that finishes our first uh, step pipe. First pipe. Pipe, okay? So now what I'm going to do is start filling and making the tummy. After all, one of the cutest things in the teddy bear is the tummy, a chubby tummy, right? So what I do is put the wire here and go around. And I usually start where the wire for the legs get together at end. Why? Because if you don't, you may have a loose leg later. So just to make sure I start there every time. And then I'm just going around making the tummy and looking so it doesn't twist the rest of the, the body here. Once I'm here where the waist would be, I go over the shoulder and here I don't I don't tie a lot, why? Because I want some volume uh, in the body, right? The, like I said, the, the tummy is really cute, so let's use. I go around again to the other shoulder. See, so I made an X with 
the, the, my teddy bear so far. And now all I do is go around to feel that tummy. Not too tight, not too tight. Let me see, can you guys see? It's just going around. Now, for every way. rule, there are exceptions. If you want a, a chubbier guy, you could come with another pipe right now and do that as well. It will increase in size. This goes according to taste. <laughs> Colleen <laughs> said, <laughs> cute. Colleen, just check just it out. Wait. Look at all, look at these two, first of all. Look how yes. adorable these are. Look how cute that is, Colleen. Hi, Colleen. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. Hi, Please. Colleen. At so, Mama Market TV. So happy that you're here with yes. us today, Colleen. Yeah, and everybody else too. Hi, hi. Yes. Hi, Bree. Hi, Bree. Okay, so now check out these other cute ones. <laughs> Look at that. Look how adorable. So much fun, right? J yes, yes. So I hope you have your pipe cleaners out, Colleen, so you can follow along oh, with us. Oh, you're going to get serious with pipe cleaners after this. Okay, so I finished my second pipe. Right? Now I get a third one. I think we are going to work with four total. So I turn into the back and I stick the wire inside the body. Okay? Once you do, and it didn't stick well here. Okay, let's do it again. doesn't work we try the other side it usually works okay so now I come to the front and what I'm going to do is, is uh, add volume to the body but at the same time give a better finish so let's compare to a lot of pipe cleaner teddy bears you can find online. Uh, they are usually just worked around like we did one once or twice and basically that's done well while they are still cute they don't have a, a, a cool finish. So this will make that trick. So I put behind, I come through the legs, go over the shoulder to the side, okay? Now I go inside the legs again and go to the other side. Inside the legs. And the only place you want to tie is exactly when you go inside the legs. Uh, and then again, and I go inside my head, not mine, the teddy bear's head, okay? So what happens here is that now I have volume, and the, the other thing is you can adjust until it's how you want. So let's take a look, where's the best place? Here, uh, the seven, yes. So see, now I have a nice finish and I have more volume to my guy. You're going to see at the end that this makes a huge difference. With that said, uh, there are variations when you can add more turns around. As long as you always have them straight and not crossing, they will be fine. Uh, I, I will show you later. I think the other white one actually has two pipes. So I went around more than once just to give more of a chubby guy, okay? But this one, I did three, which is the basic, and I went inside the head. Now all I'm going to do without putting a lot of uh, pressure is fill this, so I start creating the head. So how, how are you guys liking so far? Interesting or not? I want to know. Interesting, duh, Interesting. super cool. Hey, Shahar, check it out. Uh, Colleen said, no, Bree said, he is so cute, I can see them as present toppers. Oh yeah, yes. uh, or, or those... Um, how do you say sock, sock fillers? Uh, the one on Christmas? Oh yeah, like stocking stuffers? Stocking stuffers. Totally. I knew, I knew it had something to do sock with the Sock fillers, feet. of course. <laughs> um, then Colleen said, I know I have two new grandbabies. This Ooh. could make a cute mobile. Yeah, I was going to say that. When you said grandbabies, I thought mobiles going around Wouldn't with different that be colors. Cool? That would be super that cool. That would be way cool. Yes, yes, yes. And by the way, by the way, Colleen, listen. If you don't have pipe cleaners yet, uh, you can get all the pipe cleaners in the world that you need. Just go to mondomarkettv.com. Right now, during the next 24 hours, is an introductory price that we have. Super cool opportunity. You can get them for just 2 
50. Yes, 100 of them for 250. Amazing deal. Normally they're four bucks for 100. So hey, you get to save some. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours. I mean, we have them in uh, dark blue. We have them in this uh, light the sky blue, light blue. We have this uh, whitish kind of color, the brown. We have them in red and pink, a variety. The dark pink is gorgeous. The dark pink is gorgeous. I love this blue one too. Yes. A variety of colors, super high quality chenille pipe cleaners. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get yours today and create those mobiles for your cute grandbabies. Okay, now we are going to make the ears, okay? So it's the only time I'm actually going to cut a pipe, a pipe cleaner, not a pipe. <laughs> okay, so I uh, more or less three inches, okay? Now, because the, the bear, the, one of the cute things about a bear is to have those round ears, right? Uh, teddy bear. So I use my uh, needle detailing tool, is a, a tool I use for sculpting, but I use for a lot of things. Just to give me the, the first round here, kind of sets the, the round that I want. So you basically just use yeah. the, 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 the other side of the to, tool yeah, just, just to, to help round me it up. Round a little bit. Well, you can do that with your fingers as well. Okay. By the way, Karen Baker says, hello, gals. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you turn once or twice, and basically this is the ear so far. Okay. okay. With the rest of your pipe, you go, I go inside the neck to the other side, about half an inch. Let's okay? see. Let's see. There you go. So I just went through more or less half an inch. I position the ear. So I can have my ears facing down and having it lower or facing up. That's totally a choice because you can have both bears and they both can look very cute. If you were doing a koala bear, for example, they would go down for sure. Oh. But here is a choice because of course we can also still move. And then I pinch that back just to hold the ears a little bit. Okay, how simple is that so far? Super, Super simple. simple. Okay. I will say that even I made one this morning. Yeah. During breakfast uh -huh. and I, I succeeded. So that, that tells you it's very simple. <laughs> okay, so I, now I go around right at the center. So you go over the head. Yes, to the back and then without moving too much in the back, because you, you will need to be aware of the design in the back as well, you go under the ear, over the face, and down again. So I create, remember the body, we create three lines. We are doing the same thing here, okay? Now you go all the way to the bottom of the head, come back below the ear, and you do the third line almost like we did with the body. Go to the, all the back, go to the other side, adjust a little bit, so you know everything is kind of close together. Okay, now, now that's the, the, only, the only place that you might have to pay a little bit more attention here to get it right. So you go, you, I bend a little bit on the side just to give a little curve. Okay, then you know how the bear, so any uh, animal when you're drawing, you have, and it makes like this, right? The lips. So that's what you have to do now with the wire, but it's really tiny. So you can use your fingers or even a plier if you think it's hard to get small. So it has the mouth here goes like this, right? A curve goes to the top, so I need, I need some room here for the nose, and then again. So I curved once, go to the half of the, the face, and then I curve it again, <laughs> and I have the mouth. We had a comment from guest 310. Uh-huh. Karen Berker is back. Oh, yes, because she wrote the other day, yeah. her name is Baker, Berker? No, the other day she submitted a picture during a class and she wrote Karen Baker. Oh, really? That's why, yes. Ah. Okay, so this would be enough for us to have the nose. Let's look from here. See, I, I kind of like it to be very full. So many times what I do is I come over again 
and do the same thing. And then I make the other round. Because I, I'm going to model this in a second. Don't forget the other round. And then under the, just the same way it came on this side, under the, the ear and inside the head. Okay, and then you pull the end inside so it stays there. So see, so far we haven't used uh, any glue or anything. Now is the time you really need to adjust things. So the first thing I do is adjust this nose. And now you can make it longer, you can make shorter. You just use your fingers and you adjust the wire. Okay, also adjust here. And the tree here, you want to be in a good position. Okay, you're going to see in a while how all this works. I also like to come to the nose and give some volume to the bear. So it looks more like a bear nose because it has to have a protuberance there. Diane Kelly says hi. Hello. Howdy. We are making the first teddy bear here. Okay, adjust that and adjust the ears. So you can make them bigger if you want. You can put them lower, however you think. And then you adjust the body. So same thing, put the, the wire, see if everything is tied. And what I do is I put in the sitting position and with my hands on the neck, I press down the table. So it flattens the body and also gives a more round shape to the body itself, okay? And also, does that help with it for it to sit on its own? Yes. Now, small details before, I, actually you can do that after you put the eyes because then you can see better the whole figure. So now the eyes, so this one has a, a big nose, no, nozzle, nozzle, right? Okay, let's put the eyes. This is the only moment we are actually using glue. <laughs> what? Okay, so Deborah said, I am messing this up. Mine looks like a cross between a bug and a rabbit. Yeah, the first, Just wait. The first one always does. And yeah, it, it's the it first takes one. shape as you, as you finish it. Because mine was looking weird too at first. So now I'm going to put the eyes, right? <laughs> Which gives the, the life here. I like to put my eyes lower and almost into the nozzle because uh, one characteristic of bears is that for all their size, they have tiny eyes, round eyes, and they're very close to the nozzle, uh, which doesn't happen in other animals. So it's a cool feature. Also, it gives that kind of, oh, hug me, please, kind of look. Well, what is the look? Hug me, please, I need a hug. Hey, uh, Diane, is she's sitting in a Mac McDonald's, so everyone there is listening. Ooh, cool! Hey, everyone! <laughs> hey, everyone! Uh, Noemi said she saw something with pom-poms, but now she realized this is completely different. You should look at the course we have. Uh, we, uh, we had the course, right? Yes, yeah, we have one where there is a hedgehog that I made that is adorable. Super cute. Okie dokie. So now I, got, I have the uh, number six beads here. I'm using my detailing needle tool to grab that. And I have glue on my silicone mat. I'm going just one size to, t to touch. Oh, see, it's already, you know why it's, why it's already dry? Because why? I'm using, which is very important, the fast grab tacky glue. So it's fast. So if, yes, because I did try with other types and, and it becomes a mess. This glue, if you mess uh, with, you know, it's white and it does not become really transparent. But if you mess and there's a little bit too much someplace, while it's wet, you can grab a, a brush with water and fix that. You can try this with hot glue, uh, but you know, if you mess, you mess, then you have to throw it away. So it's, this one is a little better for that. So you put so just a just tiny one bit side. on one side of the bead. Yes, and then I position where I want. And I pull my needle while I hold the eye. So I have the first one here. Then I grab another one, do exactly the same. Tammy said, hooray for teddy bears. Yeah, right? <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> and the third one is my, this is the bead for the nose, right? And here you do the same with the glue. But you're going to see that depending on where you put, it gives a total different personality to the bear. So I can put to the top, I'm going to put right here in the middle, 
I love that in the middle. Oops, and it went there. So then you repeat. The Diane process. is asking if you're going to make another one. She missed yes. the building of the bear. Yes, we'll make another one, Diane. And anyway, uh, all this shows they stay wherever you're watching. They stay, so you can watch ten thousand times if you want. That is a very good point. It's Shamar. a very good point so, because let's suppose you you get the new today from us. Uh, of course, we ship, and a few days later, you have you don't remember anymore. Well, just revisit this video as many times as possible. That actually answers Brie questions. She asked earlier if it comes with instructions. So no, not really. When you get the chenille, you get the chenille, but this video never goes away. So you just go to Mondo Market TV, click and on watch episodes, it. and you can see it on there as many times as you'd like. So technically, mm. I want to show now the and then the progress. The progress. So technically, this would be ready, OK? So let's take a look let's on how it's Let's take looking. a look. Careful with the eyes. Okay, they're, they're look at that. I'm okay. going to give it 360. Ah, he looks cute. He looks cute. But look, I have. Little tummy right going on. Tummy, aw. Oh, yes, the back. Little tush. Okay. <laughs> I like big. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's cute. It's family friend. Right? Okay, sorry. Okay. So, but here, so it, it's ready, right? But here are a few things that we can make it to make it even look better. First of all, spend some time adjusting. Uh, by, by putting sometimes, you know, the, the one line that needs to be in the middle, in the middle, then you come to the back. And see, the back can use some work. I can adjust here a little bit more so it looks better. Same thing here. So you make adjustments as many as you need. Tweak it. Tweak it. Bree said, so cute. Then on the feet, for example, so you see we folded the, the wire and we have a cute feet, but I can come either with the, this tool or with a plier and make it rounder and open it a little bit more. Now, I don't like when the hole shows up, but up to that point, I'm fine. So I rounded a little bit, but you cannot see the hole. Some people like the hole. Nope. Uh, I also like to give it a tug here, just a pinch, because it's almost like the knees, right? Oh, okay. Same thing, and sometimes, depending on the size, I will come with a needle tool and bend the top. This needle tool is quite handy. Ooh, I use it for so many things other than sculpting. And by the way, you can get it on Modern Market TV, needle detail tool. Yes. Okay, so see, I just bent it a little bit, so it mimics the, the toes of the bear. Ah, yes, I see, very okay. cute. Joe, oh, look at that. Look, how cute. Hello, everybody, I don't have a name yet, but I would like to be named after a flower. A flower? I'm pink. <laughs> okay, so uh, the other thing is, is you can bend a little bit the hands, right? Adjust the ears, the ears again. It will give a different personality if it comes down or up. So here are a few things that you can do to improve this. Oh, another thing that I do is, let's say I want more tummy here. I go with my needle tool, grab the, the wire, and I pull them forward a little bit so it has more tummy. I like many times to use two wires here. Two of the pipe cleaners? Two of the pipe cleaners instead of one only. Most, uh, I think I have three or four that I did that. So it's chubbier. I kind of like curvy figures. So this one is done. Yay! Now, what did I do with the one we are going to give for people that comment on the chat while we are live? What, did, what is it this one that this you're going to give? So what's different then? Because now, now you can start thinking all the thing, other things that you can do yes. to increase the perception of value of, that you're creating. Yes, you're creating a teddy bear. Yes, it's a mini teddy bear. Yes, it looks cute. Adorable. It's a steel pipe cleaners, which is a very cheap product. Mm. So if you're thinking about selling, you say, okay, how can I make it more valuable, right? So one thing I did on this little guy here, uh, instead of putting a bead on the nose, I, I used some embroidery thread. Oh, See? cute. And, I, I, so that's and you embroidery did the little mouth the, too? Is that what yeah, I'm seeing there? A touch uh. with a marker. And Ooh. do you see the inside the ears, the paws? Yeah. Okay, I went to our studio. I got a blush that I have there. Kind of like just literally a little blush My, thing. Mica, mica powder, right? Oh, okay. That's what it is. And I painted the, the little hands and little feet. Look at that, So How it has cute. some color. The moment it has some color, 
Well, you also add dimension to it. Yes. Now, it can be more. Did I have the time? I could create props. I have one that has a prop, Nash. Can you take a look? So you can add a flower to the hand, uh, a toy, something like that. And of course, clothes and hats. I don't think it made it to the. Oh, set. oh maybe it was one of the deceased. Oh, okay. yes. By the way, by the way, by the way. I had some with props. We have a drawing. A lucky person is going to get this Shahar yes. original right here. Uh, and uh, the way to get that is by like, sharing, and commenting wherever you're watching, and we'll do we'll announce a lucky winner at the end of the day. Okay. So, uh, for example, if if this little guy had a hat or he had a sweater or something that you could make with pieces of felt, you could. F oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is so cute. cute. Oh, this is the one. See? Yes. You have to see this. Can I finish the phrase? Oh, yes, go okay. ahead. <laughs> Another thing you can do, let's say you want to give some hair a punky, a punky style of... Spunky? Yes, or even hide a little bit the, the flow of the wire. If you have fiber the same color, you can come and needle felt. I use uh, this guys here, pipe cleaners, all the time as armatures for my needle felting things. They, 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 they don't break the needle. So you can add a, a, a layer here. Nobody will even tell there are pipes here later. And that would by, by far increase the perception of value. Okay, okay. So by the way, a suggestion from Brie, making a scarf. Yes. And you can probably make one with a pipe cleaner too. Use ribbons. And uh, check this out, this little guy with the prop that she made. Yeah. Look how cute he is. I'm so cute, I can't stand myself. <laughs> yes. Here, Brad Pitt of bears. <laughs> right? Super adorable. So again, if I came with the same color or, or a similar color with this guy, you know what, why he's falling? Because why? probably I didn't do the flattened the flattened part. See, so now he stands. I I came well, with a similar color and on fiber and felt it over this guy. Bingo, even cuter. Super adorable. Yes. Totes adorbs. Okay, so are we going to make another one? Yes, but hey, listen, mondomarkettv.com, it's our introductory price. You can get it during the next 24 hours. A hundred of pipe cleaners for 250. It's a no-brainer. Get yourself some. You can get a variety of colors, pink, blue, light blue, dark blue, red, uh, white. They're uh, super cool, high-quality Chanel pipe cleaners. Just go to mondomarkettv.com to get your supply today. Yeah, I think I'll try the dark, dark color now, the the pink, the dark pink. So this one, I'm going to make exactly the same thing, but I'm going to add more pipes, okay? So Ooh. pipe cleaners. So... <laughs> you always do that. It's like, I'm no, gonna let's, add more let's pipes. Get that, that Pause, straight. pipe cleaners. <laughs> they are two different things, right? <laughs> okay, just checking. Okay, so I'm going to start with five in this case. So don't freak out if you didn't see the first one. Don't freak out. After we go offline, you can rewind and watch as many times as you want. But I am going to follow the same process. I'm just going to add more. So we have a chuckier guy, okay? And there's, there's one thing I'm going to do different. What? I'm thinking, yes, oh. one thing I'm going to do different. Okay. Are you sure? So start the same way uh, with the, the ends on the same height here. Then you do a tiny circle. We don't need much. And about an inch, you bend for one arm. Then go over. Okay. And you do the same with the other one, about an inch. And like also, I told you, here's the one that I always have to redo. Bree suggested a lollipop too as a prop. Yes, why not? Which, would be, yeah, yeah, don't forget, you can come with some polymer clay. Oh, yeah, cute. And Oh, that's the other thing you can do. You can create the nose out of polymer clay. So you oh, make a perfect bare nose yes. with the tiny holes and everything. Add that there. And the props cute. with polymer clay are also a no-brainer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so I made the two arms. And now I measure what's going to be my legs. So there's not too much difference. When there is, it's just some adjusting here with this second arm. Colleen said, thank you for sharing this great idea. Yeah, 
it, it's green. Oh, can I talk about price? Yes, okay. go ahead. Because we, we are telling you, hey, get the pipes for uh, pipe cleaners. Get the, <laughs> <laughs> get the pipe cleaners for 250 right? Okay, so I did a research online, and of course, people sell. Uh, some people, of, then again, I'm, I'm showing you the basic. You have to fence it up later with clothes and hats and stuff like that. And you can, using the time, because here I'm always running against the, the clock, uh, you take your time to adjust every little bit, everything, so you have really an, a nice piece. Uh, you can put in shows. I saw several yesterday. They, they usually go from one inch to an inch and a half. That's the, the normal size for these tiny bears. I saw some of them being sold online, and you can check for yourself, starting at $37. What? Yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, of course, not this case, right? Why Again, are you they had my display. They had clothes, they had props. You know, some of them was dressed as bumblebees, which bears and bumblebees for some reason, they go well together. Uh, because so of honey. The embroidery, like of honey. course you can add embroidery on the body. So adding more value to, the, to what we are creating here. So you see, even if you're selling this at 10 bucks, in two hours you have 10 of them, if you're cranking it up, or you go fancier with everything, take your time and increase the price, it's a nice one for bazaars or, you know, you have farmer's market at this time of the year. So I bent one for one leg to the inside you're bending, and I try to make the other one the same size. So you've got a little okay. person right now. Yes. A and head, then, two legs, and two arms. Exactly. Can we put so, it so flat so we can see? So you already know how a person is. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, so now I always bend the feet right away so I know which is going to be my front. I grab another one, so far exactly the same, and I put where I think the leg should end, making sure uh, I'm tying those four wires together so they don't come loose later. Okay, so I just make a hook to pinch it, and then I don't tie a lot because I want volume here. I want my guy to be chubby. Okay, so usually three times, then I go under one arm, to the back, the other arm, and then I just go round and round to make a tummy. Okay, and you can adjust this as well if you think it's going too low or something. Okay, so I have the first one. Now I come with the third wire and I insert in the back, and if it goes, my first one was not going too far, this one is fine. So until it holds, then under the legs, under the legs you do want to be tied, you don't want floppy because then it looks like it has very short legs. And I go to one side first. Oh, I, I told you I'm going to use more because this is what I'm going to do right now that is different. I go to once really to the side to grab the lower part and then go around, go again to the side. Okay, so I went twice, then under the leg again, make sure the back is not too fluffy with this, and I go to the far side again. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder, again over the shoulder, and the last one, I come and go through the head like through I did. Through the face, through inside okay. the face. And then I turn Around back. the neck. So the difference is, the other one, I just went three times, and then I wrap the head. That's why I'm going to use more pipes, my pi more pipe cleaners. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shahar. I try. Bree is asking, is that a bead mat you're working on? Yes, because if you're ever working with bead, you don't want stuff to roll down your, your floor. Makes your life easier. I, I have so many of these. We, we sell those too. But even at home, I you really have a lot. ton. I use them a lot. MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get your bead mat. So your you fast see the tacky loop yes. glue and your chenille. Uh, pipe cleaners. Yes, aha, I almost said pipe too. I see? almost did. So hey. guys, do, do you see the difference now? What was the one I just finished? Suggestion for a name for yes, the bear? Yes, yes. From guest 310, Garbanzo. Oh, I love Garbanzo. That's so cute. I love Garbanzo. Garbanzo it is. Meet Garbanzo. I love Garbanzo. Uh, you see the difference here where I only had the tree and this body is, is just cuter, right? So... Okay, so we finish here. Now remember I need to wrap the 
the face here. So what I do when I wrap the face this way is I cut space for my ears first. So again, about three to three and a half is fine. So I cut that, leave it aside, and then I come and wrap my head or the head of the creature <laughs> I'm working. Uh, it's a tough week for me today. So I'm wrapping. Keep and wrapping. of course, on the bear, the part that you want more bulk is where the nose will come because they, they look super cute that way, right? So you just go around a few times until you run out of the pipe, okay? So you see I have more volume already than I had before. With my ears, I do the same thing. Grab I something. I like it better with the more volume like that. Yeah, yeah. it's just chubbier, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm turning this around. I'm using the other side now because I think it's... You're just using the tool to... Yes, and I the create edges. the ears. Hopefully they will be the same size. If you were going to do a lollipop breathe, pretty much this. This is it, yeah. This is it right here. What I do every time with my ear is this. Once I have like this, I bend the middle. Oh. Okay. Oh, that gives for it position. the shape. Yes. So this is for the ear if I want it up or down. Okay. Now I come with another. So the fifth one. And remember, same thing. I insert through the face. Through the neck. Neck. Paying attention. Paying attention. I was just checking. Okay, and if one side doesn't go, try the other because now it's bulkier, it's a little harder to get through, but you will. Okay, so it's on the other, about half an inch. Then I position the ears and I, I clip it so it stays in place. Okay, now I go, remember, right in the middle first. Goes all the, you want to go all the way to the back so you don't have crossing lines later that distract you and take away from the bear. Once you, you've done, you go to the side. So you're doing the same thing we did with the body. All position, all the way down, go to the other side and do the same. I mean, see how many you can create really fast? Tons. Tons. So if you have grandchildren, uh -huh. so they are going to love to see. And you, of course you can teach them. The only supervision they need is not to be playing with the, the needle tool. And not poking themselves in the eye. I'm going to do one thing, guys, because it's too loose. I don't like that loose. So I'm doing again. Middle goes all the way to the back. Center, uh, side goes all the way to the back. To the other side, over the face again. It's something that you see a little bit too loose, and it, it gets that crafty kind of look I, that I'm not. So the tighter like. it is, the well, the better. Because I want to look like a face of a teddy bear without. If you look online, you're going to see the pipe cleaner objects. They they're all cute, but sometimes they they look. Eh, okay. Sometimes they look something like that pipe will cleaners. be in the trash very soon. It's different than something that you can actually sell. Right, so you have to take the time and adjust. And you know, you can adjust this many times, no biggie. So you go all the way to the back before you cross to the other side. You do the third one. For some reason, this one is kind of slippery. Okay, go to the other side. And then you cross again to the other side. It always helps because it holds things together, right? And now we are going to make that nozzle. So again, I'm going to do the... Oh. Format. I think it's muzzle. Let me muzzle. Google. Muzzle. Because uh, guest 310 was saying that nozzle is that thing that water comes out of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see at Mondo Market, we master muzzle. the words. Okay, so these foreigners, they never learn. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, oh, sorry, I did it wrong. I'm going to go around do the wait what are you doing tell us because it's we're... i messed up okay but it's oh, okay yes, yes. it's fine okay so i go I, I do one pinch to make it round then i go how, how do you say that thing nozzle. Muzzle. Mo muzzle. Muzzle. muzzle muzzle okay so i go and i told you that i i kind of like it when it's full any I chance I think it gives you, you can do that with one hand no <laughs> no people <laughs> I try my best. So right now, describe what you're doing then. I'm just creating the, this nozzle. Oh, Ooh, muzzle. Muzz you're going around the muzzle. <laughs> I'm creating pipes with nozzles. Or 
You I know. think it's Muzzo, actually. No one has okay. confirmed it. Let me, let me double check here because, again, it's too loose for the, the way I like. So I came to the side, and I did the first pinch. So it curves to the top. Then I go to the top, and I, I like to double this top. I can double from the outside or from the inside. From the inside is actually easier. What? So I have, I have two. See, uh, See the difference? Wait. I can have one, and it would be fine. Where, why do I see only my hand here? here. Right there. Oops. Oops. Nope. There. there. So I could have one, and it would be fine. But with two, not only I have more dimension here, I have more places to put the, the nose. It looks more like a bear. Okay. So then I cross, do the same pinch I did on the other side, and take it to the back. And then I insert some place to hide tie it. it to hide it, Hide it and keep it in place. There it is. And now is the adjusting part again. I start with my muzzle. Uh, why don't you just say nose? Because not the nose yet. Oh, OK. OK. So, and, and here is you can make longer. You can make more round, however you want. Adjust everything. Just give it some love. Give it some love. Decide the ear part if you want up, if you would like to go, you know, like, oh, I'm so sad, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Maybe I'll get some honey <laughs> and just overdo it. Guest 310 said, you can make a nozzle out of pipes. Get it? The faucet, <laughs> the pipes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, I try my best. Difficult week. Okay, so I have it, right? Now it's just the adjusting part that I told you. And you can take a, some good minutes here until you have it perfect because one side might be a little bit looser than the other. So you go with your fingers, spend the time, and there you have. And again, if you want more bulk on that belly, you, you know, I use my tool to come. Uh, you could, if you want to really, really chubby, uh, add, get one of those mini pom-pom balls and add to the core and then wrap with the wire as well. Then I told you I sit my guy and I press against the table so he flattens the bottom and he rounds the whole body for me. See, it makes, it makes a big difference. Once you have everything in place, you don't put the eyes before that because if you move something, it's going to move with it. And then you decide where I want the eyes and glue that. So I think my glue is all dry, Nash. Can you get, pass it to me? Okay. Really? The, and take your time. This one, this closed one? It's, come on. What? Just give it to me, Nash. Okay. Okay. So I grab some. I like to work on the mat with this. Oh, uh, so then just, it's easy just how I position my. Nice. And then again, I grab with the needle tool. You can use a toothpick as, as, as well. And I put it one side. I try not to put too much, but you need some to grab, right, and stay. And then I figure where I want the eyes. Put it there and hold just a second. Okay. If there is any glue at this moment, you can use a wet brush to clean it up. Do the same on the other side. And insert the eye and hold. OK. And now the nose. Take your time to see where you want to add that nose. Top. It gives a different personality to the little guy. OK. Oops. OK. Changes everything, huh? Yeah. It gives life. Adorable. So, for example, for this guy to be my favorite guy, I would, oh, again, don't forget these little things now. The you position the leg, uh, open the, the feet a little bit so they look more round. Okay? Same thing with the hands. Okay? And, of course, this guy... Um, if I'm going to put some color here, you would be a lot darker than what I have because I, what I have is already pink, so it's not going to show. But here you go. Oh, let me see. And now you think about what can I add as props cute. to this little guy. Super cute. Can I add some 
fiber here? Can I add some lollipops? Can I put a hat? And yes, can I dress? you can. Yeah, and can you, you have... Can you make it sit? You have a... If it's not sitting, it's because it didn't flatten the body well. So you just need to go... Now, think about tree ornaments with this little guy. Oh, guys. tree ornaments would be super cute. Good it's idea. A, still a little bit early, but you, if you want I to make a I thought of something. Tree. Tell me if it would work. You know my little necklace that you made me, and you might have seen it if you, you follow us online. Uh -huh. um, but you know that little fox necklace that I wear that you needle felted uh -huh. that's holding on to the actual. Yeah, yeah. I know. Couldn't we make one with these? Yeah, this would, uh, you think it's too big, correct? Well, no, this, my necklace is almost the size. Almost the size. Yeah, it, I think but you, can, you can tie or make it easier. Like I told you, uh, a lot of them, what they have, let's say, let's do it a little smaller then and see. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Diane suggests tiny flowers. Tiny flowers, polymer yes. clay flowers. Uh, Brie asks, do you need to seal the mica powder on? Uh, no, it's not going, the, that small amount gets into the fiber just fine. But you can, you can use pastels as well. I, I had the, the studio, the, the brush, that's what I use, but it's not going to come out. Beverly is saying, hi can. from Australia, love the bears. Oh, great. Okay, so what I'm going to do different here is I'll, I'll make sure I have less legs and less so I just put it a little higher than I did with mine first. Because again, that necklace it needs to be a, li a little bit more delicate. And probably what I would do now is I would come with the, this one and just this one. I wouldn't add more bulk if I were making a necklace. So round, round. Diane suggests third. you put some on barrettes. Yes. For like... Um, you know that uh -huh. the thing you put in the hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would look awesome. Or the baby, the baby, uh, you know, elastic that you put something to for, for photo props. So many things. Yeah. So cool. And look how cute. These are adorable. I love these. So I would come and insert this, the end of the wire here. And I would call this the body. Okay. Because again, if it's a necklace, you want less. And the head... I would go around a few times. By the way, Liz just joined us. She said she is in Pennsylvania, and it's a good use of her time. She's waiting for so soccer practice. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and, and you know, if you have kids at home, we talk so much about this, that you want to make them make stuff because it's a problem-solving activity. Uh, this is great. See, you, you, you use minimum material. Most of it is very safe. You don't have to work with a needle. You can work with a toothpick. Uh, I'm making the same ear we made it, uh, before, just smaller. And it's a great activity they're going to love. So Girl Sheila, Scout stuff. Sheila's asking, do you think it would be possible to make them in two colors? Oh, yeah, totally possible. The, totally. the nozzle. No. The muzzle. Muzzle. So I don't know which color would be nice with this guy. Maybe the blue, the sky blue, mm, or too yes. much. Yes, but let's see. Mm, let's so, see. and the good thing, this is because it's a cheap material and you can use in another project, no matter, no, no problem here. Okay, my, my only challenge with the second color is that I still need to hold this little ear, right? So I might do this with the original color. So remember, enter the, the neck, pinch, Put the ears on. Put the ears on and then secure them. Noemi is asking a panda. A panda, I, I, yes, for sure. That's an easy one. We don't have black. That's the only reason we don't have a panda here. But I, one of the deceased bears that we had for today uh, was a koala bear. Because the koala bear, you can make any color and just the nose you are going to make in another color and it's a bigger nose. So I have the face here. Now I can come, let me see. I, I'm worried about the back if I'm going to do the two colors. So I want to make it in a, in a way that doesn't get in the way. I'm going to go under, over, under and, and under, over. And over. Okay, that color is not the best. 
when you don't have a lot of light. So I just need to pass the other color through. Ta -da -da. Someday, okay, it's holding. And then I do the same thing, right? Now I have the option to do the one that I make. I, you know, I pinch, I go up, I go up again, or you can do a round one. So it's, re it's smaller if you're concerned because in this case it would be a, a necklace, right? And then you insert them. I have to cut a little bit and insert. Oh, this is going to be cute. People, this is going to be cute. I have to insert under the other one to stay. And you know, if you're worried that the ends will ever come out, here, when you're, you could, ins you could put a dot of glue as well. Okay, let's see how it looks when we add some. <coughs> I think my needle too fell. So let's it get did. this. It did. Okay. Eyes. Add... Okay, I'm making this fast because we didn't plan a third bear. But you can get the idea. Oh my gosh, this is going to be cute. Good idea. Who gave that idea? To do the two colors? Chase grab us a winner from the, the people that comment. It was uh, Sheila. Sheila gave the comment? Yeah. She asked if you could do it in two colors. Oh, oh look sorry. at that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to grab the uh -oh. camera. But yep, yeah, there we go. We got the needle tool. OK. <laughs> and then the nose. So much for being discreet. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let me get more glue here. And this glue peels off on the silicone mat really easy, so easy. And you could work on a tile as well. Well, you know, while you're gluing that, and we've already seen how to glue it, I might uh, invite you to go to mondomarkettv.com and get your pipe cleaners. You can get the pipe cleaners, you can get the fast glue, you can get the, the even the mat, the bead mat. Uh, so everything there that you need to get started right away and create these amazingly adorable teddy bears, you can get it there. And during the next 24 hours, you can get a cool deal on it, or it's the introductory price for the pipe cleaners. Uh, so just 250 for a pack of 100, it's an amazing deal, you can get it. Go there right now though, because it's only during the next 24 hours. MondoMarketTV.com. And we have a very limited amount. Yes, yes. We so, do. for example, on those necklaces, what we do is you, you now you have a cord, right, a black cord. Uh, it doesn't matter what material. And what I do is I come with the hands and I go around the cord. So I don't have a cord here. It's super but cool. But hey, you can, you, can you use that, that uh, yarn to, almost. as an example? Well, it's not going to hold if I use that. But I, I go around and I hold so the bear or the fox in the case that she wants she has, is actually holding the cord and the butt is sitting on the end of the cord. So it's super adorable. I love let's it. Let's pretend this is a cord. It would go here. It's like it's like your necklace is a swing. Yes. So it's sitting on the swing and then holding on to it. Yes. So you would tie the hand so you would hold the thing. And add. Can you put it here, maybe? Yeah, but it, it's not really a cord. So. Well, it's just for them to get an okay, idea so. of it. So, for example, so see, pretend that this is my necklace. Whoops. So you would uh, do this, where it, it's holding on to the. Over here, you can see it's holding on to the necklace on both hands, on both both of its hands, and then it's sitting on it. So when you're wearing you're messing it, with my eyes. Oh shoot! But when you're wearing it, it's hanging, hanging yes, like on if your it was neck, sitting on a. That that one, I, I, I don't even like that fox. No, I love it though, and I wear it all the time. I'm sure you've seen it even. Yes, and everybody stops. Everyone, at, right? She doesn't like it. Everyone comes and asks me about it because they think it's so cute. And it's like five years old now and <laughs> she's still it's wearing it. It's falling apart almost. So think about this. The, the fact is this little guy has exactly one inch so she, he's a little smaller than the others. Uh, it would be perfect for, for a girl's necklace. Uh, again, from experience that uh, the ones I made were needle felted but it sells. It sells. If you ask 
15, even 20 bucks sometimes, it goes, it goes really fast. Now think about other opportunities. Maybe you're working with Girl Scouts or, or you know, women in, in your, young women in your church, or maybe you, uh, your girl or your, even the boy, because bears, they can go both ways. Uh, they, they have to do a fundraising, for example. Uh, you can put a whole bunch of kids working on this, yes. right? Have the most adorable, you know, and the only- they'll love making them, because it's so They will fun. love. You see how it comes in, in different personalities every single they time. They all have a little bit of a different personality. Yeah, it's just a, a great thing to do. Again, I could dress this as a bumblebee and make a bumblebee bear. I could, uh, here on the body, I could use a color like orange and create a pumpkin for Halloween so the bear is inside the pumpkin Look with the hands. Cute. Yeah. This is with the two different colors. You can see it on there. Or not. There. Okay, there you so go. So see, uh, yes, I, this see is very the difference cute, Shahar, yes. It's very cute. Oh, and he's smaller. He's smaller because he wanted the necklace. Oh, yes, So why is he smaller? I use just round body. I didn't put the third layer. Uh -huh. and, and same thing here. I, I did uh, just round and then twice I run up and down just to hold the ears, right? And then I added the, the muzzle. muzzle with the next thing. Now you can see from here that even is using exactly the same thing without changing much, you could also have a fox because of the colors, right? Oh. And I, that's my next one actually. To make a fox. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It? It's this last night. Oh, yes, I was cranking cute. bears, but I was thinking, okay, fox, because fox are my thing. Cool. So guys, I, I hope you appreciate it. And you can see where you can come from here. So you saw uh, a more sophisticated pipe cleaner teddy bear than you usually see in tutorials, which creates other possible, we are all about possibilities here, right? It creates different possibilities. If I come to a friend of mine and I give this on, on a beautiful package, a beautiful box, How it's going to stay. It's not the pipe cleaner kind of teddy bear that is really going to end up in the trash after the play is done, right? No. Uh, you can create uh, necklaces for, for girls. Again, you can dress, you can paint, you can make it more sophisticated and sell, right? It's, Why not? It is a super, miniature teddy bear. It makes for and a super I, And if you gift. play with needle felting, uh, play with adding a layer of fiber on top so you kind of hide the, the, the ah. pipe cleaners, nobody will be able to tell. That's I a actually good idea. saw a girl yesterday from Japan and she had f the foxes and I was, oh my gosh, I need to make one. And you know, I couldn't, it, it didn't look like pipe cleaning. And of course there was just a picture, nothing else. But I, I was looking and I was looking and I was looking and I said, oh, that's what she's doing. She needle felt on top and perfect finishing, perfect finish. So look how cute, I mean, together, look at this I'm together. Garbanzo. We create Garbanzo. I'm Cherry. Cherry. I'm. Blueberry. Blueberry. I'm a necklace. A necklace. <laughs> I'm vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Vanilla. Aww. It's vanilla, the okay. color. But yeah. It's the most adorable one. I this love one, it. like I said, has an uh, uh, embroidery nose. All right. Well, anyway, you can make this yourself. All you need are pipe cleaners. And you can get all the pipe cleaners in the world that you'd like at MondoMarketTV.com. We have a very cool introductory price going on, promotion going on right now during the next 24 hours. You can get yours. They come in a variety of colors, yellow, brown, green, blue, light blue, uh, pink. Anyway, MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get them. And uh, go there now so you can take advantage of the promo because it can, ends in 24 hours. Can I say one thing that is different? I, I buy a it. lot of uh, these pipe cleaners because like I told you for needle felting sculptures I use many times as as an armature for small ones of course uh, and there's this this came from a store that we had here in town and it's super full which makes more fluffy yes. uh, you can buy more expensive in in any craft store but they go around so you see a lot of the wire and you can see you here even the very even see. and this is an off white is more of a cream by the way it's it's white but it's but, off but look even the ones that are light you can barely you see can the barely wire. see the wire it makes a huge difference when you're sculpting yes. yes and like the blue it's so fluffy it's gorgeous color i love it yes look and i love the two it colors it's adorable look at that cool Hi. I hope you enjoy it, guys. You know, we come every week. Uh, we come on Wednesdays with Chilean and Thursdays, uh, the two of us. 
to show you different demos and of course introduce you to a different product. And we're trying something that I think can be super beneficial to artists. We are trying to start the home shopping network with art arts and craft supplies in this case. And this is just the beginning. So every time you share, you like, you comment, you help us show out there and it's a great way to support us. The other way you can support us is put that on your agenda and be here every week interacting with us. We, we really appreciate that, right? And next week, we are going to have something uh, about recycling that I think you're going to love it. It oh, was yes. a problem I was having here at the studio that was driving me crazy. And I, I was having to throw stuff away. I'm not going to tell you what. but I was, And I don't like that because I, I, I'm really thinking I'm just filling the landfill, nothing else. This is not going anywhere. So I have to find a purpose for those things. And that's what we are going to show next week. Awesome. So cool. don't miss it next Who's, week. No, don't forget the winner. I, I'm not forgetting. Don't forget. So you heard Char. Every Wednesday we have the Spark, uh, the uh, Crafting with Chillin show. You can catch it Wednesday, 3 p.m. Mountain. That's two. Uh, the shows are all basically at the same time. 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern. So wherever you are, just figure it out. Uh, but join us every Wednesday for Crafting with Shalin, and then every Thursday for the Sparkle of Creativity show with Shahar. So I hope you can join us next week because it's going to be amazing. It's just, it's, you get to have some time, you know, you're hanging out with friends, basically. We're just having a good time. Uh, so lucky winner here that says Chase just sent me. Uh, the lucky winner is, drum roll, let's see, I, 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 it went away, uh, I, I found it, Marie Lewis, Woo! you are the lucky winner, so send us an email to info at mondomarkettv.com and we'll get your little bear sent out to you, it's adorable and you'll love it. All right, well, Shahar, any final words before we wrap? You know, go make fun stuff, yes. uh, you know, especially... On those days, maybe you're, you're, it's not your best day, so it's not the day you're using f to create art and more important things. You know, just try something new, make yeah. a bunch of them, have fun, have give a it good away. Time. You know, go, go whenever you go someplace with kids or something, give one for each. Super you will make cute. her day, and you spent what, maybe 10 cents on this? And do that because it helps cheer you up. That's right. right? So go make pretty things. See you next week. See you next week. Thank you.